Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how an electric motor works, and this is for higher tier students only. In the last video we saw that when a conductor such as a wire is carrying a current, it experiences a force in a magnetic field. Scientists call this the motor effect. Remember that we can determine the direction of the force by using Fleming's left hand rule. Now there is one really useful application of the motor effect, and that is in electric motors. I'm showing you here a loop of wire carrying a current, and we can see that the current is running in opposite directions on either side of the loop. On the left hand side the current's running back to front, but on the right hand side the current's running front to back. We've now placed the loop of wire in a magnetic field. Now the wire experiences a force on both the left and right sides like this. Using Fleming's left hand rule, we can see that the force on the left hand side acts upwards, and the force on the right hand side acts downwards. So now we've got a moment on the left hand side and a moment on the right hand side. This means that the loop will rotate in the clockwise direction like this. However, there is a problem here. Once the loop's at 90 degrees, it will stop rotating. Imagine that the loop rotates beyond 90 degrees. Now the direction of the current means that the force on the left hand side is acting downwards, and the force on the right hand side is acting upwards. So these forces push the loop back to the 90 degrees position. However we can solve this problem if we switch the direction of the current when the loop passes 90 degrees. To do that we use a device called a split ring commutator, and I'm showing that here. The split ring commutator is a split metal ring. This is connected to conducting brushes. The brushes allow the electric current to pass onto the ring. So this shows the current producing a turning force on the motor. The force makes the motor rotate in the clockwise direction. At this point the current's broken for a tiny fraction of a second. However the wire keeps turning due to momentum. Now the current switches direction, so once again the force on the left hand side still acts upwards, and the force on the right hand side still acts downwards. So as you can see by switching the direction of the current, the split ring commutator allows the motor to keep rotating in the same direction. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the electric motor in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.